السلام عليكم اهلا وسهلا فيكم في المحاضره رقم تسعة من مساق الديناميكا 61 211 ويلكم تو ليكشر نمبر 9 ان ذا دايناميكس كلاس 61 211 وي ار جوين تو كونتينيو وذ ذا سيلندريكال وذ سيلندريكال كووردينيتس لاست تايم وي ديسكاس ذا ثيوري بيهايند سيلندريكال كووردينيتس And today, what we are going to do is to solve some examples, solve some problems, and do some applications in using cylindrical co coordinates. Uh, so last time, we ended with this. We have a particle moving along a path, curvilinear path. We are still talking about curvilinear motion for a particle. And we are talking kinematics of a particle. So, We have a particle moving a path, along a path, and we define the location of the particle with vector rb, and this vector, to define this vector, we, we used a unit vector in the r direction, r small, it is the projection of rb on the plane, where we define r and theta. So we have ur in the direction of r, u theta in a direction perpendicular to r, and then uz in the direction of z, and z is the vertical axis to the plane where r and theta located in. So rb now is r times ur plus z times uz. So the position for the, the point is defined by the location along ur, r, and the location along the z direction. We showed that when we look at the velocity, When we derive this, and we show the der derivation for that, that the velocity of the particle is going to be r dot ur plus r theta dot u theta plus z dot uz. And here r dot is dr by dt, theta dot is d theta by dt. So r dot is going to be the rate of change in r with respect to time. Theta dot, the rate of change in theta with respect to time. To time. So theta dot, we also define it as angular velocity, d theta by dt. Use uh, z dot is dz by dt, which is the derivative of z with respect to time, or the rate of change in z with respect to time, or the velocity in the z direction. We showed that the acceleration for the point AB could be taken as r2 dot minus r theta dot squared ur. So we have a radial component. For the acceleration, the radial component is going to be r2 dot minus r theta dot squared. And we have a transverse component for acceleration or an acceleration in the direction of theta. We call it a theta. And this is r theta dot plus r2 r dot theta dot plus z2 dot. z2 dot is the acceleration in the z direction. So this is a z. Here a theta, and this is going to be a r. Radial acceleration, transverse acceleration, and acceleration in the z direction. Now we just want to solve some problems and some examples on these applications. We start with 2D motion, and when we have 2D motion, we call it polar coordinates or polar components of velocity and acceleration. This is question 12149 from the book, uh, Hebler book, page 72. The slotted link, we have a slotted link here, and there is, uh, is bend at point A. And as a result of the constant angular velocity, theta dot equal 3 radians per second, it drives the big P for a short distance along a spiral guide R equal 0.4 theta, where theta is in radians. Determine the velocity and acceleration of the particle at the instant it leaves the slot in the link where R equal 0.5 meter. <coughs> we have a slot, and in the slot, 
we have a particle. Now we are rotating the slot with an angular velocity theta dot. في هذا البار في فتحة في الوسط وفي جواته البارتكل هذا عندنا فعم بنلف في هذا البار نتيجة إلى ذلك شو بصير في ال... في البارتكل هذا راح يصير يطلع لبرا يتحرك الحركة تبعته راح تطلع على شكل سبايرال باث اتس سو وي هاف كيرفيلينير موشن ناو ذيس كيرفيلينير موشن وي كان ريبريزنت ات وذ We can represent it using polar coordinates. So the motion, the path of motion, is given by the function r equal 0.4 theta. We have theta dot equal three radians per second. So, given that theta dot equal three radian per second. So we have constant angular velocity. So theta two dot. Equal zero. We are given also that r equal point four theta. So we are given r as function of theta. We will need r dot and r two dot. But r dot is d r by d t. So we want to look at r dot equal. dr by dt is dr by d theta times d theta by dt. <coughs> so we'll have 0.4 theta dot. Now we know that theta dot is a 3. So this is going to be 0.4 times 3, 1.2 uh, r is in meters, so this will be meter per second. Now r to dot is going to be zero. Okay, so we know now r dot theta dot. Now at the point that r equal point five, find v. And find the acceleration. We know that the velocity equal r dot u r plus r theta dot u theta. So the velocity r dot is going to be one point two. U R plus R point five times theta dot is three point five times three is one point five. Okay. Now the the value of the velocity or the magnitude of the velocity. This is velocity as a vector. If we want to look at the velocity. As magnitude is going to be square root 1.2 square plus 1.5 square, and this is going to be you can calculate it meter per second. This is the radial component of velocity. This is the transverse component of velocity. The acceleration, we go that A <coughs> equal R two dot minus R theta dot the square. U R plus R theta dot theta two dot plus two R dot theta dot 
do theta. R2 dot is 0, minus R theta dot square, minus 0 0.5 times 3 is square, so it would be minus 4 0.5 UR plus R theta to dot, theta to dot is 0, 2 R dot theta dot, 2 times R dot, which is 1.2, 2 times 1.2, 2.4 times theta dot, which is a 3, so it would be 7.2. So, the radial component of acceleration is going to be minus 4.5, so it's toward the center, because it's in the minus direction. The transverse component is going to be 7.2. Now, the 2R dot theta dot. That's what we showed before. Any problem with this? <coughs> okay. Let's take a second example on this subject. Second example, we want to consider acceleration in the Z direction. So we will use cylindrical component. It's clear. You have R as function of theta. You just derive, just take into consideration that when you take dr by dt, it's going to be dr by d theta times d theta by dt. You can derive it one time, two times, depends how many times you need, and then you calculate the velocity and the acceleration. Let's move to the next example. Question 12, 158, from the same, from our textbook. For a short time, the arm of the robot is extending at a constant rate such that r dot equal 0.45 meter per second. When r equal 0.9 meter, z equal 1.2 t squared, theta equal 0.5 t, where t is in seconds. Determine the magnitudes of the velocity and acceleration of the grip A when t equal 3 seconds. Okay. So we have, at the end, uh, we want to look at uh, the instant in which t equals 3 seconds. We know that r dot is extended at a co extending at a constant speed. So we have r dot equal 0.45. Meter per second. R two dot equals zero. Check. Z equal one point two T square. So Z dot equal two times one point two two point four T. Z two dot equal two point four. Okay. Theta equal point five T. Theta dot equal point five. Theta two dot equal zero. Now the velocity of the grip A when T equal 3 seconds. So the velocity is going to be V R dot UR 
plus of theta dot u theta plus z dot u z. equal r dot is 0.45 u r plus r theta dot r theta dot is going to be 0.5 times theta dot theta dot point Okay, so R is 0 0.9, 0 0.9 times 0 0.5, 0 U theta, plus Z dot, 2.40, 2.4 times 3, 7.2, easy. Zero point four five U R plus point nine times point five zero point four five U theta plus seven point two U Z acceleration A Let's write the acceleration here. A is r2 dot minus r theta dot square. r2 dot equals 0 minus r theta dot square minus r 0.9 times theta dot square. Theta dot 0.5. U R plus R theta two dot theta two dot is zero so R theta dot equal to zero we will have two R dot <coughs> point four five theta dot point five U theta plus Z two dot two point four So this is going to be 0 0.9 times 0 0.5 square uh, minus 0 0.125 U R plus uh, 2 times 0 0.45, 0 0.9 times 0 0.5, 0 0.45 U theta plus 2.4 U Z. So this would be the acceleration vector. If you want to calculate the acceleration magnitude, acceleration is going to be square root of 0 0.125 squared plus 0 0.45 squared plus 2.4 squared. So the acceleration as magnitude, if you calculate it, you will get that the acceleration is going to be 2.45 meter per second squared. And you can do the same thing for the velocity. And you can show that the velocity, 0 0.45 squared plus 0 0.45 squared plus 7.2 squared under the square root. So it's going to be 7.23 meter per second. Okay? Any problem? Uh, طبعا البولار كوردينيتس راديال كوردينيتس جاست دايركت ابلكيشنز فور ذا ريليشنز ذات وي لو
يعني بس المهم في الموضوع انه تنتبه انه انا لما بعطيك ار از فانكشن اوف ثيتا لما بدك تشتق ار احنا وي وي ديرايف وذ ريسبكت تو تايم نوت وذ ريسبكت تو ثيتا وي اولويز توك اباوت ذا ريت اوف تشينج وذ ريسبكت تو تايم دي ار باي دي تي ار ضعف دي ثيتا باي دي تي دي زي باي دي تي Let's look at another example. Allah stu hada. Okay. A cameraman standing at A, following the movement of a race car B, which is traveling around a curved track at a constant speed, thirty meters per second. So we have. A race car traveling along a curve with radius 20 meter and its center is here at this point. So the car is traveling with a constant speed. Somebody with a camera is standing 20 meters back from the center and is watching the car with his camera. So he's looking at the, cam at the car and moving the camera to follow The car. The question is, at what? Okay. Determine the angular rate theta dot, dot at which the man must turn in order to keep the camera directed at the car, on the car at the instant theta equal 30 degrees. At what rate is he going to be rotating his camera to be able to follow? Uh, the car يعني هون شو بده؟ بده theta dot يعني بده d theta by dt يعني he wants the angular velocity of the camera the angular velocity by which the man is going to be rotating his camera to be able to follow to follow the car شيك؟ اوكي لو كان هذا الزلمي او هذا الرجال if the camera was here at the center and following the car let's say that this is angle alpha what would be alpha dot what would be the angular velocity that the man needs to turn his camera with لو حطينا الكاميرا هون في المركز وقعدنا نتطلع على السيارة وبدنا نلف الكاميرا بسرعة اللي نلحق السيارة فيها بدنا ألفا دوت ساعيتها okay. But what is the relation between VB and ألفا دوت okay. ألفا دوت okay. ألفا دوت times R is VB مش هيك مش هو بده يلحق السيارة فإذا راس الكاميرا التانجنشال فلوسيتي إله شو لازم يكون يساوي التانجنشال فيلوسيتي للسيارة. So the tangential velocity of or the tangential speed of the car should be equal should be the same to be able to follow uh, to follow the car. So we should have r times alpha dot equal 30. مش هيك؟ فأنا alpha dot شو لازم تطلع؟ 30 over R which is 20 meters and this is going to be 1.5 radian per second so if the cameraman stands here at the center of the curve he should rotate his camera with an angular velocity 1.5 radian per second to be able to follow the car يعني تخيل انه الكاميرا في راسها في هون خلينا نقول شعاع هذا الشعاع شو بده يعمل بده يلحق السياره فاذا المفروض سرعته شو لازم تكون نفس سرعه السياره على اساس يضل قادر يلحق السياره تو بي ايبل تو فولو اب وذ ذا كار فلازم التانجنشال فيلوسيتي لاخر الكاميرا لاخر الشعاع اللي بت... اللي لاحق ال... السياره يكون نفس سرعة السيارة حتى يقدر يلحقها ما تسبقوش 
فاذا الفا دوت should be 1.5 radian per second okay. now the man is standing here at a how much should be theta dot i can make a relation between alpha and theta and if i have a relation between alpha and theta i can find the relation between alpha dot and theta dot what is the relation between alpha and theta هذه عشرين وهذه عشرين. so this is alpha equal to theta. هذا مثلث متساوي الساقين. آه. أنا بدي أسوي هذا. let's call it r. and this is r one because this is what's called r. okay. this angle is going to be theta. So alpha equal to theta. هذه الزاوية هي مجموعة الزاويتين هدول. So alpha dot equal to theta dot. إذا theta dot equal alpha dot over two. So one point five over two. Equal point seven five radian per second. So regardless to the angle, he should be rotating his camera with an angular velocity of point seven five radian per second. As long as the car is on the curve. Now, if the car starts moving along the straight line, no, the story will be different. The angle that he, the angular rate is going to be different. It's not going to be constant. But as long as the car is along this curve, the circular curve, theta dot can be constant. طالما السيارة ماشي على هذا المنحنى الدائري, إذا معناته angular velocity بتضل ثابتة. في حال ما إنه السيارة طلعت على الخط المستقيم لا الأنجل الرصيف بصير تتغير. أه بعتقد في أكثر مثال بفرجيك لو كانت السيارة ماشية في خط مستقيم. لو كانت السيارة ماشية في خط مستقيم نقدر نطلع أه theta dot بس بتصير سعيتها theta dot function of the location of the car. يعني لو كانت السيارة ماشية هون شيء طبيعي انه هون شو بدها تكون السرعة راح تصير سرعة سرعة عالية بينما هون شو بتكون السرعة قليلة الان جرار فلسطي لانه دائما بده يضل عندنا انه ار المسافة تايمز ثيتا دوت شو لازم يعطيني الفلسطي فهون ار بتصير صغيرة فاذا هون لازم انه نمشي بسرعة كبيرة لما نبعد بتكون سرعة أقل، بس بدنا ناخذ في عين الاعتبار الانجلز. اوكي. في مشكلة هون؟ This is a similar question but considering that the particle is moving in a straight line. So question, so you can consider this as continuation of the previous question. Question 12161. A searchlight on the boat anchored 600 meters from the shore is turned on automobile which is traveling along a straight road at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. Determine the angular rate of rotation of the light when the automobile is R equal 900 meters from the boat. We have a boat located 600 meters away from the road. The road is a straight line. We have a car moving along the road with a velocity at 24 meters per second. We have a searchlight looking at this car, similar to the camera. Now, what would be the angular velocity for rotating the searchlight to be able to follow uh, the, cam uh, the car? 
So we have here a velocity, 24 meter per second. If this angle is theta, this is going to be theta. Now this velocity will have two components, one in the radial direction and one in the transverse direction. So we have a component in the transverse direction and a component in the radial direction. If this angle is theta, this component is going to be 24 sine theta. Okay? This component is going to be 24 cosine theta. هذه هي في ار وهذه شو بدها تكون؟ اوكي، ذيس از ماينس في ار، اوكي؟ سو ذيس 24 كوساين ثيتا از ماينس في ار، اند ذيس 24 ساين ثيتا از في ثيتا، سو في ثيتا ايكوال 24 ساين ايه ايوه هذه السرعه اللي في اتجاه الار شو هي ار دوت واتجاه اللي في اتجاه ار في اتجاه ترانسفيرس دايركشن از ار ثيتا دوت سو 24 ساين ثيتا ايكوال ار ثيتا دوت ذس از جوين تو بي ار ثيتا دوت فرجينا انه الفلوسيتي لها تو كومبوننت وان كومبوننت ان ذا راديال دايركشن از في ار اند ايكوال تو ار دوت وان كومبوننت ان ذا ثيتا دايركشن اور ترانسفيرس دايركشن ايكوال ار ثيتا دوت طب على الرسم وين هي اتجاه ثيتا اوكي ذس از ثيتا اوكي بدي بيربنديكولار هي زي ما انا رسمها في الاتجاه العمودي على ار هذه الزاويه لازم تكون 90 درجه اذا هذه ايكوال ار ثيتا دوت اذا ثيتا دوت ايكوال 24 ساين ثيتا اوفر ار اوكي هلا شو في علاقه ما بين ار وثيتا شو في عندي علاقة بين R و theta؟ نعرف هذه المسافة 600 متر. So خليني استخدم لون ثاني. هذه المسافة هون 600 متر. مش 600 على R بعطيني sin theta. إذا R equal 30 over sign theta. Check. R equal 30 over sign theta or 30 cosecant theta. So we know that R equal 30 cosecant theta. If we want to look at R dot, R dot equal 30 times. So we start with cosecant theta. A bar on minus cosecant theta, cotan theta. Then. cosecant theta في عندي ماينس كوتان ثيتا ضرب ايش؟ هذا المشتقة ورسبته ثيتا تايمز ثيتا ضغط في الواقع هذا بلزمش احنا من هون انا بدي ثيتا دوت شو؟ ات 
R equal 900 مش بطلع ثيتا هذا لو بدي اطلع R dot اوكي بس R dot مش مطلوبة على كل حال اذا at R equal 900 meter theta is going to be 30 over our tan inverse theta over R to say 30 على sin theta R to say 600 على sin theta okay هذه لازم 600. We got it mixed up here. 600. هذه المسافة من هون لهون 600. فإذا sin theta is 600 over r. فإذا كانت r equal 900, so the sin theta is going to be 600 over 900, two thirds. So theta is going to be 0.6 radians. Uh, no, sorry. Theta is, go, is going to be 60 degrees. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's not going to be 60 degrees. Okay, you need to calculate. Okay. Okay. اوكي اوكي انا كاين اوكي بتحسب ثيتا اوكي بنحسب ثيتا وبنروح بنعوض في المعادله بيطلع لنا ثيتا ضعف اوكي ثيتا هي الاستان انفرس عفوا ثيتا از ساين انفرس فبنيجي هون بنعوض في الواقع اف ار ايكوال 900 ذن ساين ثيتا Okay. Sine theta is going to be 900 over 600 over 900. Way sawi. 2 over 3. We'll return to this equation. If theta dot equal twenty-four, then sine theta is going to be two over three. Over R. On R, which is تسعمية احسبها اوكي اوكي صاري فرض ذا ميستيك طبعا اذا كان بدنا ار ضغط نقدر نطلعها من هون اذا كان بدنا ار ضغط نقدر نطلعها من هون في اي مشكلة هون؟ uh, next week we'll start with relative motion We'll start with uh, absolute relative motion, and then we move to relative motion analysis. We'll talk about the poles when particles are connected with each other, and then we look at relative motion analysis. Thank you very much.